you're in the neighborhood and you're stopping by in 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. No problem. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Bye-bye. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my method for cleaning up as quickly as possible. I'm calling it speed cleaning because sometimes you just don't have the time to really go all out, spend all day cleaning. You want to get it done quickly. And sometimes you have people pop by unexpectedly and your place is just not ready for them. So you have to get it done super fast. This video is also a collaboration with Catherine from Do It On A Dime. I have collabed with her in the past, but she is just one of my favorite people here on YouTube. YouTube. And if you like my channel, I think you would definitely enjoy her channel as well. She is going to show you how to do a deep clean of your kitchen. So head on over to her video once you're done watching this one. Let her know I sent you and subscribe to her. And with all of that said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So to get started, I put all the supplies that I need into a bucket, which I then am able to carry around with me room by room. It just makes it super easy and convenient. I also have a little checklist that I put together. I will have this listed down below in the description box in case you want to use it for reference. So when I'm doing a quick clean, I just focus on the main areas of my living space. And the first area I tackle is my bedroom and my master bath. So for my bedroom, I set the timer for 10 minutes and I start by making the bed. I also want to mention that I I normally do a quick daily cleaning routine. I did a whole video on that and that's why you'll notice that things aren't super messy around my house in general. I swear by that system. So then I bring in a laundry basket and I use that as kind of a catch-all space to put any miscellaneous items or clothing items that need to be put away and then I deal with those items once it's all collected. Mostly it's things that need to go in the hamper or clothing items that need to be hung back up. Then I wipe down my vanity area. This gets so messy because I do my makeup here, so there's powder and foundation and stuff everywhere. Next I go around the rest of the room and I just dust off the rest of the surfaces. I finish off my bedroom by vacuuming the entire room, both the hardwood and the rug. I use this cordless vacuum that I got as a housewarming gift for my mom, which was a total game changer. It just makes it so much easier and more convenient to vacuum. I love this thing. Then I move on to do a super quick clean of my bathroom. Only takes me about five minutes. I start by using my disinfecting cleaner and I squirt this all around the toilet, on top of the toilet, and also on the base of the toilet. And I just let it air dry, which is actually what they recommend for maximum disinfecting power. Then I will wipe down my sink and my mirrors. And if needed, I will do a quick swipe of the inside of the toilet bowl. Then I come in here and vacuum the floor and mostly this is just all of my hair that's shed everywhere. And from there I'm done. Again, this is just a quick clean in my bathroom. I do plan on doing an in-depth deep cleaning bathroom video coming up in the future. Now I move downstairs and I start with my kitchen which takes between 10 to 15 minutes depending on my dish situation. So I start by either unloading or loading the dishwasher. I also remove the stove gaskets and I let them soak in soapy water while I then go around and wipe down all of the countertops. I also will wipe down the sink, the microwave, the fridge, all of the surfaces in the kitchen. Once I'm done with that, I rinse off and dry the stove gaskets and put them back. The stove area is probably the number one spot in my house that gets dirty and messy because we do so much cooking. From there, I move on to the family room. I bring in that same laundry basket and I put anything that needs to be sorted or put away in another room. I also will fold up my blanket and fluff all of the pillows. I will then go around and do a quick dusting of everything in the room, so the TV, the mantle, the blinds. Then I will wipe down my coffee table and my coffee table tray and also this little tray that I keep on the side of the couch. And I finish everything off by vacuuming both the family room and then I go back into the kitchen since they're connected. Mm -hmm. 
So after that, I move into my office. I follow the same method using the basket to put items that need to be moved and just clearing off all of the clutter. From there, I do a quick wipe down and dusting of my console and everything on my desk area. And that's pretty much it for my office. It just takes less than five minutes. And the very last thing I will do is just take all of the used rags and throw them into the wash. So that's it for my super quick cleaning process. It only takes me about 30 to 40 minutes. When I do a full deep cleaning of my house, it takes me over four hours. So this is the highly expedited version for when I'm in a hurry. All right guys, so that is my method for speed cleaning. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber. There's a red subscribe button somewhere down there. And I will also have my other cleaning and organization related videos linked down there for you guys to check out. Also, don't forget to head on over to Catherine's channel to check out her video as well. Thank you guys as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Hey guys, Ryan here. So Brittany showed you some good tips on speed cleaning. Well, I'm gonna show you some ultra fast mega speed cleaning. Got some clothes, you need to put them away? Well, you gotta get creative. The whole house is your canvas. Maybe you take a couple articles of clothing and well, you stuff them between the dresser and the bed. Look, a curtain? No, that to me is a shelf. Maybe you take another one and, well, here, give it to your dog. Dog toy. A rug? I don't think so. I think that's a drawer. Look at that. Man, you'll be done in no time. You can do other important things like watch television.